Hello again my friends, this is No Win's Mercy, a pulse rifle available to purchase from Lord Saladin when you hit Iron Banner rank 5, but is it worth the grind? The answer is hell yes, this weapon is a crucible monster. Let's start by looking at its perks. First up, we have Outlaw. Precision kills dramatically increase reload speed, a worthy addition to any primary weapon. Now the less time you spend reloading, the more time you spend shooting. It's a simple equation that helps you keep the bullets flowing. Next up, we have Brace Frame, which maxes out this weapon's stability. The more stable your weapon, the more chance you have of landing your shots and securing the kill. Now, No One's Mercy is a beast at mid-range, but also puts in a stellar performance at long range. There aren't many situations where No One's Mercy comes off second best. You can engage an enemy in any mid-range duel, safe in the knowledge that your pulse rifle will not let you down. And finally, we have Third Eye. Radar stays active while aiming down sights. Now, this is such a useful perk to carry into the Crucible. You can preempt exactly when your enemy is about to turn the corner and enter your line of sight. And when he does, he's already in your crosshairs. Getting in the first few shots in Crucible, especially Iron Banner and Trials of Osiris, is crucial and often determines who emerges victorious. Third Eye helps give you that edge. Now, all these perks combined make for a formidable Crucible Pulse Rifle. But the question I most frequently asked is this. Is it better than Red Death? Now, as you can see, Red Death has slightly better impact, range, and reload speed, and it also has two excellent perks. Each kill heals you and speeds up reload, and it's easier to aim under fire. There's no doubt that Red Death is also a formidable pulse rifle, and if you choose this over No One's Mercy, that's completely understandable. Both weapons are deadly in the Crucible. But here's why I've recently replaced Red Death with No One's Mercy as my go-to Crucible primary. First of all, that insane stability. But perhaps more importantly, no One's Mercy allows me to free up two exotic slots. With a legendary pulse rifle in my primary slot, I can now choose to equip an exotic in my special or heavy slot, as I've just done here. Now, when I use Red Death, I also equip Knucklehead Radar as it provides third eye. Radar remains visible while aiming primary weapon. Now, No One's Mercy already has this perk, so I can swap out Knucklehead Radar with another exotic. Now, I tend to go for Aclifar Symbiote because I get that extra golden gun shot, which allows me to do this. down. Yes! Three down! Fantastic work! Double kill. Yes! Three down! Look at them fall! Don't be neutralized. So then, that's why I love No Win's Mercy. Now, I'm going to leave you with some Crucible gameplay so you can see this thing in action. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for daily Destiny content, and thanks for watching, you beautiful bastards. And as always, hee hee hee. Until next time, Guardians.